So I've been farming basically all my life. My grandfather started farming in 1949 and throughout the years they added acres on. My dad uh, took over the farm and really started building up in the late 70s and it's been expanding ever since. So right now this year we are growing wheat, canola, barley, oats, peas. So we farm about 15,000 acres producing somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000 tons of grain. My grandpa, when he started farming, he was driving a horse and before he passed away, he was able to drive in a tractor without touching the steering wheel. So there's a real huge increase in technology and things have gotten so much more efficient, but you're still doing the same tasks. Farming is and will always be about growing things. The concept hasn't changed. We're still putting seeds in the ground, but just the way we do it has changed immensely. One of the most dangerous things you can say in, in agriculture or in anything in life is, that's the way we did it last year, so we're going to do it again. Or that's the way my dad did it, so I'm going to do it exactly the same way. And so improving on last year, improving on the cycle is very important. Being able to measure those things that you're doing is very, very important. Knowing exactly what you're applying, what you're doing, and being able to measure that on a day-to-day -day basis is huge in terms of value. Because you can calculate waste, and you can calculate where you can improve, and that is the, one of the reasons why Alberta agriculture and Canadian agriculture is able to compete worldwide is because we have this ability to be finite on what we do. This is a very typical monitor that would be in many machines, but much of the machinery is collecting this information now. So the first thing we do is we set up the field that we're in is we'll choose that field from a list. We'll pre-populate pre it with maps uh, that have the boundary of the field in and then we're able to collect data and assign it to that field. So you've got a map that shows what you've actually covered and what you've harvested. One of the things we do look at from time to time is our work totals. So we'll go in there, we'll see how many acres we harvested on this field, the area remaining, which would be taken up by the other combines that were in this field, time remaining if we were to combine it ourselves. A uh, really important one would be fuel usage and then moisture and, and then corrected yield for moisture, uh, which is very important. Especially in a year like this, being efficient is super important because we're going to be burning a lot of natural gas, drying grain, we're going to be using a lot of power. So the more efficient I am, not only is it efficient for the bottom line, but it's also efficient for the environment. So if I use less natural gas to, to dry my grain, that's better for me, that's better for the environment. And if I use um, less power to dry that grain, to run fans and to do other things, that's also better for the environment. So just because your farm is trying to be efficient at doing new technology and new things doesn't mean that they're just looking for dollars. It means they're looking for efficiency, not only for themselves, but for the environment as well. If you're buying a product off a Canadian farm, you can know that it was produced very efficiently, very effectively, with high labor standards, with uh, high accuracy. And what that means to the consumers, they have confidence in their product that it's good. It doesn't matter what product you're getting off a Canadian farm, be it milk, beef, grain, they are all being tested at multiple stages throughout the growing cycles. The consumers can be very confident in that they know that Everything is very science-based and very well tested throughout the system. You're, you're buying a quality product when you buy a local. So when you're buying something that's foreign, you may not know where it's from, you may not know what practices were involved in producing it, whereas in Alberta you know exactly where it came from, you know exactly who made it, you know exactly the resources that went into it and that it's sustainably produced and that land that food came from is going to produce food again for somebody a generation down the road.